It's understandable that you want to enjoy the S24 Ultra's recent release before talking about the Galaxy S25 Ultra could be way faster than iPhone 16 Pro Max. However, technology advances quickly, and I'd want to share some interesting developments regarding the S25 Ultra with you, so hear me out, you see the gap in performance between the top chipsets shrinks each year to an extent that the actual difference is negligible. This doesn't stop a few leakers from making bold assertions concerning the power on paper of a particular chip over the other. Qualcomm will announce its Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 that may make its way in phones like the Galaxy S25 series smartphones during the Snapdragon Summit, which will take place in October of this year. According to a leak from China, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will have the ability to reach the single core score of 3500 points. If this turns out to be the case, it will be awe-inspiring. In contrast, there is, it is believed that the Apple A18 chipset, which will be the power behind iPhone 16 Pro models, will get 3,300 points on the test. However, Snapdragon 8 Generation 4's multi-core as well as GPU performance is more efficient than that of the Apple A18. This means that the processor will completely dominate Apple's A18, allowing the Galaxy S25 series to outperform the iPhone 16 Pro lineup. If this leak proves to be correct, it means that it is likely that a Samsung smartphone could be able to outperform the iPhone on single core performance in unprecedented time. What would be the thrill? It will have the Orion core as in the form of the primary cores, and Phoenix cores to be high performance cores. Qualcomm will be able to clock its Orion core Yaz with 4.3 GHz. This is a rate that is unprecedented in the mobile market and is way ahead of rivals, and Phoenix cores will be clocking at 3.8 GHz. The processor could use 1.3 V of power in order to achieve the frequencies that can cause a variety of issues like overheating or thermal throttling, in addition to the fact that Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will be the first Qualcomm chip using the N3E 3 nanometers manufacturing process. Please feel free to let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section, and if you enjoyed our video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech news updates. See you in the next video.